Hey guys, this is Christian King from CatchHerAndKeepHer.co and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to get a girlfriend. But first, make sure you click the link in the description below this YouTube video and go over to the website CatchHerAndKeepHer.co and download the free ebook. The free ebook has a lot of great tips in there and a lot of things that you can do to make it easier to approach hot girls, help you with getting a girlfriend, help you with getting dates, help you with getting laid, all that great stuff. So make sure you expand the description below this video or look to the right of this video, click over to the website and download the free ebook. Now let's get to the video. And a lot of the other videos I posted on YouTube, people were saying that they actually wanted advice on making a girl their girlfriend. So I'm going to go over seven steps that I use to actually get a girlfriend. First things first, you have to realize that getting a girlfriend and getting into a relationship is a journey, not a race. If you treat this like a race, it's just going to end up like anything else in life. If you rush through, you're bound to forget things and it won't turn out as well as you actually prepared for it. So it's just like you have a trip or a vacation to Florida. If you're rushing through your house and you're trying to get everybody out the door quickly, you might forget your suitcase. You might forget your laptop. You might forget some things. But when you treat everything like a journey, you have time. There's not a big rush. And you end up going through a lot of good experiences and a lot of things happen to you. So remember, this is a journey. Getting into a relationship is a journey. Number two is knowing what you want. I would even take it as far as writing down your ideal girl and what she looks like. What does she do for a living? All aspects about her that you want in your ideal woman. You should know what that before because if you don't you'll fall into a trap like a lot of guys fall into they end up only dating or liking girls that like them and that is a recipe for disaster so what you want to know is what you want and what you like in a girl third is to be where the women are a lot of guys complain that they can't find a girl or that they're just not happy with any of the girls that they're dating or they only get girls every four or five months. Well, you got to put yourself where the women are. If you're in a basement complaining on YouTube saying, Christian, I can't get a girlfriend, but you have not gone out in three or four weeks, what will you expect? So be where the women are. If you're in college, join some clubs. If you're out of college, make sure you take up some hobbies. There are leagues for unisex baseball, bowling leagues, everything. Just find out some of the groups and hobbies and activities in your area and neighborhood and start joining those. And I promise you, there will be single women there. And then also go out to downtown clubs and bars at night if that's your thing. Number four is to approach. I tell you guys how to approach and one of the other videos on my YouTube channel. Make sure you check that out. It's called How to Approach a Girl. It's on my YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out. I'll show you exactly what you need to know to walk up to a girl that you think is attractive. So start approaching. Number five is to date multiple women. I don't mean to be a sexist or demeaning the women or anything like that. That is not what I mean by this. What I mean by this is that you need to date multiple women to find the girl that you like. Chances are you're not going to fall in love and marry the first woman that you meet. So it's totally okay. It's totally fine to date multiple women. The thing is, you need to be honest with them. Tell them, hey, yes, I do see other girls. You don't have to say, yes, last night I slept with so-and-so or last night I went on a date with this girl. But you need to be open and honest. Say, hey, you know what? At this point, I'm not ready to jump into a relationship. You also have to give them mutual respect. So that means you're allowed to date other. She's allowed to date other guys, too. I know it sucks. But they are allowed to go on dates with other guys if they want to because it works both ways. So date multiple women. Number six is trim the fat. Once you start to date multiple girls a week, and I don't mean just fat chicks. That's not what I'm talking about here. That's not what it means. Trim the fat. Spend more time with girls that you like. When you are dating five, six girls, you'll start to like one or two of them more than the others you realize that the two of them aren't your type and maybe there are just party girls and you're just not in the mood and you're just not looking for a party girl right now. 
You guys have different goals in life and different visions for what you want. You have different visions for what futures look like. Start looking to spend time with girls that have the same visions and same goals. All that stuff that you want in the woman, spend more time with them. Start spending less time with the other ones. Number seven would I would say is don't specifically say, hey, I like you or I'm falling in love with you first. Your actions speak louder than words. In my experience, it's a lot better to show her how much you like her than to actually continuously tell her how much you like her. So a lot of guys will put their girlfriend up on a pedestal. Once you guys have been spending months together and you've gotten rid of all the other ones, let's say you narrowed it down to one girl that you really like. A lot of guys will start to do too many nice things and say, I love you too much. And it kind of comes off as clingy. So what my girlfriend has told me in the past is that they enjoy, instead of saying, I like you over and over again, randomly show up at her house with flowers, do random acts of kindness that show you that you like her. Number seven, once you get into that relationship, the way I like to look at relationships is you guys are teammates. You guys are teammates in life. When I make a girl my girlfriend, that means I in some way could possibly see us getting married someday. That is how seriously I take our relationship. So once you're with a girlfriend and we are teammates, we have the same vision, we have the same goals, and that's really important to me. You don't cheat on your teammates, you don't sacrifice the good of the team for something that may make you feel better as a single player. You guys are a team, you play as a team, And if you keep all that mentality and and keep that idea all that time, your team will go a lot farther. Your team will win championships. And one of the hardest things for a lot of people to understand is that you don't quit the team because you lose a game. A lot of people do that. I've had experiences where friends, girls I was dating, and family members get into one big fight. That's like you lost the game or like it's over. It's not over. That happens from time to time. People lose games. Think about it. Even Michael Jordan on the Chicago Bulls, the team lost. Just games, though. They won championships. Right now, we have football season starting up. Whenever football teams end up winning the Super Bowl, they will have lost a game or two. They are not going to go 16-0. and So, You're going to lose some games. It doesn't mean it's over. Just remember that you guys are teammates. So this is Christian King from CatchHerAndKeepHer.co. Those are my seven steps on how to get a girlfriend and how to make things with your girlfriend work out really well. Make sure you expand the description underneath this YouTube video or look to the right of this video. Click the link and go over to the website download the book on Amazon. It's got a ton of awesome information about dating and picking up chicks. If you want to avoid the friend zone, you need to watch out for being unclear about your intentions. You should realize all girls respect honesty. It's being a real stand-up guy. It's better to chance pissing a girl off by hitting on her if you're interested instead of hiding your feelings. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to to do this and how to get a girlfriend. To learn more in depth about how to get a girlfriend, go to catchherandkeepher.co. I've written a book on this, and you can get it at amazon.com. Click the link and go download that book, and I'll see you in the next video.